Hi, this is Info Puppet, and we're gonna look at how to create gradient spheres with the brush tool. You are absolutely gonna love my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Photoshop Elements 12 is open up. This is where we're finding PE 10 and PE 11. Now we're going to go to File and New and Blank File. And I'm just going to go with the 1280 by 720 because those are great dimensions for a YouTube video. And then what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and go over to the toolbar and select the Gradient Tool. Now we're going to come down here and select Edit. So we can edit the gradient tool. This is a, a color stop. I just double clicked on it. I'm going to select these blue colors here and select OK. Well, that's not the color I want, so I just double clicked again. Select a little bit lighter blue selection. I'm going to come way over here to a nice light blue. That's much better. And I'm going to click on OK. Now I'm going to double click on this color stop. And again, select over here. And a little bit darker blue this time. And now I'm going to click on OK. And I'll click OK again. Now I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna change linear gradient to radial gradient. And now I'm just gonna left click, hold, and drag in the corner. And, uh, ah, that's not what I want. I actually wanted the opposite. I want the blue to be more prominent, the dark blue. So let's go back and click on edit. And I'm just gonna left click, hold, and drag the positions of my two color stops. We're gonna drag the light blue over to the left and the dark blue over on the right and then just click on OK. Just want to show you this in case it happens to you. Alright, now we're just going to left click, hold and drag and much better! I love it! Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the layers panel and create a new layer. Always create a new layer. Never draw on your original layer. Now this is the uh, marquee tool I just selected. And I'm going to left click, hold and drag, and hold the shift key down so I have a perfect circle! Alright, now I'm going to select the brush tool. And, wow, I really want a large brush. But real important, make sure you have a soft brush like this that looks fuzzy, not a hard brush like these that aren't, don't have the fuzzies like right here. You want a soft brush. And again, I want it really big, like 367. That's my favorite size for a large brush. Now I'm just left clicking, holding, and dragging. And I want you to understand what's going on. When you have a selection, Photoshop Elements will only have you draw in the selection area. So it's kind of picking up on the large soft brush, the very tip of it. Alright, now I just hit Control and Delete or Command and Delete to get rid of the selection. And there it is! Now I'm going to right click and select Duplicate Layer. And click OK. Now I have two of them! Now I just selected the Move tool. Now these spheres are not easy to move, alright? Look, I just I can't move it. Because there's kind of nothing there. It's a transparent part of the sphere. So you have to kind of click and hold and drag around the brighter circumference. And let's try this again. Uh, move this on up here. Alright, see how they're kind of grouped together? But if I turn off the visibility, it's going to let me just move one of them at a time. Let's try it again. This is driving me crazy! Alright, let's try to move this thing. All right, there it goes. I'm moving it from the bottom there. Now I can turn the visibility back on. You can see, in fact, I do have two spheres. All right, now let's go ahead and click on this sphere here, and we're gonna we're gonna make this large, really large, and kind of oval looking. I'm gonna drag these uh, things out, the little squares on the ends. I started with the square in the corner. And that looks pretty good. So I'm going to drag this thing down a little bit. It looks like a planet. The great blue planet. Now we're going to go up here and right click and select duplicate layers. So we have two large spheres. And now I'm just going to click on my arrow keys and move one of them up slightly. Just slightly move it up. Okay. 
All right, now we're gonna change the opacity. Of course, opacity means transparency. We're gonna turn it down. I'm going to about 50%, but I want you to see what it looks like. Uh, about, uh, well, 49. Okay, now I just click on the other large sphere, and I'm also turning the opacity down to about 50%. All right. Okay, now, I clicked on the background so you see where we are right now, but let's click up on this layer. I clicked the little circle, and I'm duplicating the layer now, so I have two little circles again. So let's go ahead and left click, hold, and drag one. Well, look. See what happens? They're grouped again, so I'm just going to turn off the visibility of one. And now I'm going to left click, hold, and drag the other one. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little larger and again, a little, a little bit of an oval circle this time. That looks pretty good. I just clicked on the check mark, and I'm going to turn the opacity down again, the transparency. Alright, I like it! I love it! Alright, now I'm going to turn the transparency back on for my little circle in the corner, and here's where we are right now. Now we're going to do something different. We're going to go to the toolbar, and we're going to select the elliptical marquee, but we're going to change it to the rectangular marquee. Alright, of course, we're going to create a new layer. There it is, right here. And we're going to draw a rectangular marquee on the new layer! This is so cool! Now we're going to grab our brush tool. And again, I'm just left clicking, holding, and dragging. This is the color white. You can use any color that you want. Depends on what color you're working with. And I'm sliding this down now. I'm using the arrow keys on my keyboard to slide it down. Now, we're going to go to Image, Transform, and Distort. And with Distort, you can left click, hold, and drag. I grab the center square there, and I've got a really cool angle now on my rectangle. I like it. I'm going to click on the green check mark. And there you go. These are just really nice, pleasant looking backgrounds you can move a person over to or for a website. Thank you so much for watching. Do me a favor, leave a comment below from Info Puppet.